What's up, people? This is William Jones with another video. They're just designed to make you think, open your eyes, and think. Now, this video is for like my comic book people. You know, my people. We all into the to the, uh, the Marvel, DC, Star Trek, Star Wars, whatever. All right, so bust this. I done pretty much spent this day. It's uh, April 23rd. It's a Sunday. I think I done watched Apocalypse, X-Men Apocalypse about three times a day. It just keeps repeating every time I play the joint, you know, so and I, I have nothing else to do, so I keep letting it play. Now, and I'm, I'm really just like, you know how you watch a movie? Some movies I watch a hundred times, and you learn different stuff every time you watch them. I love the depictions of Egypt. I hate how they make all the Egyptians white for some reason, but let me continue on. You know, that um, Apocalypse was God. It was amazing, though, when God was seen and was an actual person, he couldn't be received. For all y'all Christians, oh, that went Jesus' love. John, watch this. Apocalypse shows up after all these years looking like, wow. <clears throat> The weak are running the earth. And you know when Storm tells him, well, you know, you can't go around killing people, whatever. We got systems in place, all that. He's watching TV. He sees about the weapons. He sees the superpowers. He sees how they're doing it. I mean, pretty much folks took over when they made guns. I mean, truth be told, when we went from spears and swords and arrows to guns, the game changed. It really changed. It allowed folks who were weaker to take over folks who were stronger. So, let me continue. He comes in. He picks four people. Give them powers. Well, strengthens their powers. And allows them to be like his inner circle. Okay? Now, this is what he says we're going to do. We gonna, we gonna, he got rid of all the nuclear weapons on the earth. From every country, he got rid of all nuclear weapons. He said, we're going to get rid of all these systems. We're going to destroy everything they built. We're going to start from scratch, and those that survive, we will show them a better way. That's what he said. The X-Men come in. Oh, no, we can't let him do this, because now he didn't discover uh, Professor Xavier has this power or whatever, so he can be in the minds of all people. Isn't this God? Heaven, hell, God knows what everybody's thinking. When you pray, you pray, and folks pray, and they ain't even praying audibly. They praying like that. Oh, well, God know when I see it. Because if he's in your head like Apocalypse will be, then what's the problem? If he was taking care of everybody, what was the problem? Because the systems we have today do not care about everyone. They, they, only, they only care about those who are getting rich. Forget everybody else. They, they use the backs of the middle class only to do the work. This is the way I describe it. They, they create the money. They're up top. They create the money. They drop the money down low to us, the workers, to do the work. They ain't digging no ditches, plumbing, building stuff, cutting grass, serving food. Growing food, growing crop, they're not going to do it, so they create the money. Drop the money down to us, we do all of the work, they tax the crap out of us, we got to pay for everything we have to technically give the money back to them. It's like, it's like a swing joint. They have the money, they run it through us to get to work, and they get the money back. That's the system. He was going to destroy these systems that makes all of us slaves. What was the problem? Really? Oh, because one man was ruling it. Well, in your God concepts, and isn't that what God does? Well, he was going to kill all of these people. To, didn't God in the Bible flood the whole earth and save only eight people? And started from scratch again. What was the problem? Apocalypse was no different than the God of the Bible. 
So, but, but when he was seen, oh, he was evil. Why? He killed people. God killed people. Again, why? What was the problem? He was looking out for everybody. What was the problem? Really? So like I'm saying, you take your Bible God and make him visible, make him apocalypse, and, and let him do all the crap he did in the Bible, and you would be with Professor Xavier and turn your back on him. You wouldn't be hollering, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. You'd be like, he is freaking evil. If you haven't seen X-Men Apocalypse, watch it. He said he was God. They could Elohim, Ra, whatever. You know, they've called me many names through the ages. Whenever humanity needed to be restarted, he restarted it. That's what he said he did. For those who have seen it, chime in. For those who haven't, watch it, then chime in. I was like, he was God. What was the problem? I'm just saying, I'm a Magneto fan myself. If I had to choose between Magneto and Xavier, I'm going Magneto. And for those of you that didn't know, when they did the X-Men, they based it off of Martin, Martin Luther King and Malcolm X. So Martin Luther King, they, they made Professor Xavier, who went all this peace and crap, and they made Malcolm X uh, Magneto. For those of you that didn't know, all right? So I'm out of here. Peace.